Fellow reefers, what is going on? March here in the frag box, and I'm just gonna give you a little update on what's going on here with our reefer and a new little algae problem we haven't encountered. Tell <laughs> I me, mean, Dylan, what is, <laughs> what is dino, Dylan? What is it? Why did you just blank? Google it. Let's put them on the spot. So it can come into your tank from a number of different things. It has to do with nutrient imbalances, food, coral, rock. Um, it can become a nuisance algae quite quickly. I find that it often grows on the sand bed and it's characterized by this rusty red but closer to a brown color. And as it gets bad enough, it'll start to form these bubbles that grow out of it. So it's quite distinct. So a couple ways to get rid of it, stuff that mixes the sand bed. So you can see that it's really only in this one section here. And then if we look over here on this side of the tank, it's pristine. And that's because the flow pattern coming off this Ecotec MP10, it's just mixing the top layer of the sand much better over here. This may just be a dead spot, so it gives the chance, um, it gives the opportunity for an algae to build up in the tank. So rearranging the flow can help. Um, to beat it or adding organisms and cleanup crew to your sand bed to keep it moving and keep it stirring. So I think we have in here a large um, spider conch. These are one of my favorite conches. These do a great job of mixing the sand bed, but obviously he's not helping over here. So there's one more solution. If you've tried cleanup crew, uh, you can do some manual removal too. Grab a siphon and just siphon off the top layer of sand. But if these uh, tricks are not working for you, there's one more thing you can do. This is Dino X from a company called Fauna Marin, and this stuff is excellent. I've used it many, many times. I'm gonna run it in this tank. Um, sometimes it can cause your skimmer to go a little bit out of whack. If you're gonna try it, just follow the directions on the bottle. Take out any carbon that you're running because activated carbon is going to remove this from the water column, and then it's just not gonna be effective. It's gonna be filtered out. It only takes a couple days to work, and I've overdosed it um, a few times, so I've gone a little bit more than what they've recommended with no ill effects. I can tell you from personal experience, it's 100% reef safe. It's not gonna bother any of your corals, invertebrates, or fish. It's a really a great project, uh, product. There's very few um, all-in-one algae solutions like this out there that work as effective as this one. This is another awesome, awesome product, um, not just for dinos, but for diatoms, hair algaes, bryopsis, bubble algaes, vibrant. I'll do another video on this one. It deserves its own spotlight. I haven't used this one personally to battle dino. I've only used the Fonda Marin Dino X. So I can't speak about, hey doggy, we're doing the video here. Sorry, so I can't speak of the effectiveness of vibrant on dino, um, but it, it should work. It should work on it. Uh, but I'm going to recommend the Fauna Marin. That's the one I personally use. This is my go-to. That's the one we recommend to people when they're dealing with dino issues. And that's basically it. If you guys got any questions or comments about algae, reef tanks, Red Sea reefers, you know how to reach us. I'll leave our comment, uh, sorry, our comments. I'll leave our contact info at the end of the video. And this is overdue, I think, for an update. We've changed some stuff around. It's becoming very torch heavy in here. It's going to look cool. I'm a big fan of torch corals. They're nice, they're wavy, they add so much life to the tank. They look very alive. And these look like brown, ugly, nothing torches. This is gonna be really cool because I'm gonna shoot these again in three, four weeks and it's gonna be cool to see how a coral colors up. So when we get these in from Indonesia, they look like crap. They don't look good, they don't show off any of their uh, potential, even these. So three, four weeks under the Radeon XR15 Blues, you won't believe what these things are gonna look like. They really do color up. But yeah, that's it for again for today's video. Thanks for watching guys and happy reefing.